Assalamualaikum people. Hi, this is Maria Khan, your master teacher of biology here at Vedantu. Guys, welcome to my session. And today we are going to have an important discussion about the new variant of COVID. That is Omicron. Yes, guys, uh, many scientists feel that uh, this Omicron variant is going to bring the end of this global pandemic. Are these predictions true, correct, precise? We are going to investigate this in today's session. So stay with me right till the end. Uh, hit on the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon. So without wasting any further time, let's get started guys. So whenever, whenever a new variant uh, comes into the picture, we usually ask three questions. Is this variant more transmissible than the previous one? Second, is it more dangerous to us? Is it going to harm us a lot? Or is it a tamer variant? And third, are the current vaccines which are available, are they going to be successful enough in uh, preventing the contraction of that particular disease? So yes, uh, we are going to discuss everything related to Omicron in present day scenario. Okay. So guys, uh, many virologists and scientists believe, still believe in this avirulence theory. Have you heard about it? No? Okay, chalo. let me tell you what is this avirulence theory. Now we all know that virus particles uh, are considered to be a link between living and non-living. Outside the body, they are non-living. But once they inside enter within the host cell, they use the host cell machinery and replicate right now this virus coronavirus being a lethal one okay it is potent enough to kill the host now imagine if it is uh, super virulent okay it is highly transmissible and uh, at the same time if it is equally lethal it will harm the mankind many human beings will die okay it is it, it's going to hit badly to human beings and if if human beings are not left then how this virus will survive so that's the theory behind this okay so it's assumed that uh, mutations to keep on occurring in microorganisms and viruses are not an exception to it so viruses go on mutating and thus new variants are obtained but these mutations over a period of time lead to the generation, lead to the development and formation of a tamer variant so that it's not that lethal, it's not harming its host. Otherwise, if the hosts are being killed, if the hosts are removed from the picture and the scenario, the virus itself won't be able to survive and manage in this world, right? So this is what the A virulence theory states. Second question, is this theory valid and correct? So let me tell you guys, this avirulence theory is old enough. And uh, now with the new researches and new studies in place, uh, many, ma many scientists, many virologists have proven that uh, this particular avirulence theory is wrong. Okay. So here I'm not presenting any of my views. I'm just presenting what has been uh, believed since ages and is it still valid or invalid. Now, as I mentioned that mutations go on happening, any random change in the gene, its structure, location and function uh, leads to mutation, right? Means it's that's that's what is called as mutation. The mutations can be uh, uh, harmful leading to a formation of a strong variant or it can be useful leading to the formation of a, a tamer variant. But yes, mutations can happen randomly. Okay, randomly. So yeah, right now as we see that uh, Omicron is a much tamer variant than its uh, previous versions, right? So how do we deal with it? So guys, congratulate yourself that you are staying in India and uh, we have succeeded in effectively implementing mass vaccination drives for everyone above the age of 18. So whether they are senior citizens or whether it's the working population, 
everyone has like effectively vaccinated out of the two doses at least one and now we have opened the doors for vaccination between the age group of 15 to 18. Now apart from that we have got some home testing kits, rapid antigen test, rat kits right wherein we can come to know uh, whether we are positive or not so that we can isolate ourselves or not and uh, that's again a good thing otherwise previously it used to take good three long days in order to understand and uh, determine whether a person is covid positive or not so quick testing quick reports and then if at all we are tested positive we have medication in place yes finally we have the medication in place so india drdu has launched this new drug which can effectively combat with this virus and the name of the drug is 2 deoxy d glucose so now it's the oral sachet it's a powder which we have to consume so basically it's a deformed structure of glucose which we call it as 2 2 deoxy d glucose so basically this glucose molecule modified glucose molecule enters within the cell where the viruses have managed to enter so it is being absorbed by the cells which have been affected by the coronavirus and then the virus utilizes this glucose and because of this because of this deformed structure of glucose that is the new structure of glucose the virus synthesis stops the energy production for the virus stops see glucose is required for energy production but this is not the actual glucose that's present in our body it's 2 deoxy d glucose right so thus it effectively uh, prevents the multiplication of the virus it weakens the virus and that's how it effectively works in treating so yeah there have been studies conducted on people who have been given this drug and people who have been uh, treated under the placebo effect and there was a huge difference and uh, yes this drug has been proven to be effective and uh, then secondly uh, in people who are severely impacted now we do not need to rely on some high-end medications costly medications we have uh, this uh, molnupiravir a drug an oral antiviral drug which does not require cold storage so it's not going to uh, get spoiled due to improper handling and storage and it's again effective in the treatment of covid and what else guys uh, vaccination drives are being run in several schools and colleges where uh, any student who is about the age group of 15 is being vaccinated so with testing kits in place with uh, uh, vax, uh, with medication in place for mild infection as well as severe infection and with vaccination in place everything is being effectively implemented with a tamer and milder variant of covid at least this is what i expect that uh, by the month of june things return back to normal key life return back to normal key and uh, students uh, start attending offline schools and uh, at least we can think positively hai na? so yep uh, i feel that uh, yes june 2022 is going to mark the end of this global pandemic and uh, i am of this thought what are your thoughts let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below and uh, do let me know whether you are being vaccinated or not recently and uh, share me your experiences after getting vaccinated and that's it for the day guys by the way i forgot to tell you one important thing guys the ed fest vedantu's ed fest is back again and all the courses across vedantu's platform are available to you at flat 50 percent discount up to rupee 2000 so guys your term 2 has already begun for your cbsc icc as well as uh, like 9th and 10th graders for everyone term 2 has already begun and uh, life has given you a second chance to fare well score well so enroll with Veda to learn from the best so that you score well and uh, with my coupon code that is MAKPRO you get flat 50% off up to rupee 2000 so what are you waiting for guys enroll now if nothing to at least uh, try our trial period on 15 days trial period 
already you are getting a discount plus you get additional 15 day trial absolutely free of course so one month subscription at almost half the rate okay half been a quarter the rate so grab the deal now the link has been given in the description box also has been pinned in the comment section enroll and see you soon let's meet in the next session till then allah hafiz mudawafiz and keep watching bye bye take care